All right, folks, today we've got a special treat for you. This is the brand new Rapido Barrel Ore Hopper. This is the long body version. Let's see if we can zoom in here a little bit better. Oh, there we go. So this is the NSC Barrel Ore Hopper, uh, the long version. This is $59.95 retail and $54.99 sale price at Hiawatha Hobbies. Um, so the prices on these are not going to be discounted as much because there are um, the increases in costs for fuel and transportation has... Uh, Cause the prices of the models to go up, so they're charging the hobby shops a little bit more. Um, I'm really a big fan of Rapido, and so I'm willing to pay a little bit extra. I only bought one car. If I really like this, I might go back and buy the six-pack, um, but that would probably be it. Uh, it's still a considerable amount of money for one car, um, but let's see if it's worth the money. Let's take us open it up here, and we'll find out. Okay. So, before we get too far, we've got some paperwork here. We've got some AEI tags, I think these are, um, to put on the side of the car for more modern service. A couple of stickers, of course, course for certified 100% grade A nerd, and for Rapido trains. These are both kind of neat. I like them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'll do something. And then you've got your uh, uh, instructions, or I should say uh, exploded parts view, and then you've got... Um, little adver advertisement here for keeping up with the times with the Rapido. They've got all different kinds of places to keep up with them at. Now, let's take this guy out and take a look. Alright, so, here's our barrel ore hopper. Very nice, excellent detail. Let's get a little bit closer here. The zoom is not keeping up with me today. So we've got some really nice detail here on the side uh, for all your information about the car and whatnot. Some really good detail on the ends here, of course, with Rapido. This thing is in perfect condition, just as I expect it. They've got great quality. Uh, the shipping is awesome. I, I don't get any, knock on wood, damaged Rapido models. And it's been a tremendous breath of fresh air because I get so many... Um, Models from other manufacturers that I get mailed to me and they're just destroyed for some one reason or another. So you can see on top here we've got the tires. Um, that's actually for opening the hopper for loading. Uh, they've got some really good information on the website. And I forget what it is. It's something about uh, uh, Master Your Railroad or something. Or something Masters. and uh, Or Expert something. And basically it tells you all the detail about... The cars, the history, how they were used, where they were used, why they were used, the different styles, the paint schemes, the railroads that ran them, how, what engines ran, like, everything. It's nuts. It's awesome. It's great. Um, so we're going to set this guy down and we're going to go over a little bit more in detail. All right. So looking at so looking at the end of the hopper here, we've got our standard. Uh, this is a metal knuckle coupler now. This is like a, a KD number five, I believe. Um, really nice shape. It's actually a metal knuckle instead of a plastic one. And I think this guy might actually, no oh, springs in there. Um, it's just not closing like I thought it would. Let's see. Let's see if that's even. Oh yeah, it's working. Um, but this is a beautiful car. Lots of detail here, of course. You've got your air tank, you've got a nice see-through grate down here for the walkway. You've got all your plumbing and piping, your coupler cut bars, very nice detail in the back of the uh, hand brake. You've got your little grab irons here, nice steps on the side. Of course, you've got excellent detail down here as well. So you've got very good crisp lettering on the side of this guy here. You've got your plate C, or a... Uh, what does that say? Yeah, plate C. You've got uh, jacking pads. You've got very nicely detailed trucks. I'm kind of surprised that Rapido doesn't have working roller bearings yet. Um, I thought they kind of fall suit with Tangent. Um, they're at that price point. They're at that level of quality. Um, they could do that now. You've got some more details on the side here. You've got your hatch on the bottom. And speaking of bottom details, let's take a look underneath. Gently set this down here. So you can see underneath, you've got all the detail that you can expect from Rapido. Um, as they say, uh, Rapido looks best uh, when it's upside down. So they've got all the detail underneath, all the brake rigging, the hatches. You've got uh, just, I guess, your standard trucks. There's nothing crazy about those. You can see the airlines on the end of the car there. 
Uh, very nicely done. And of course, you can see through the step-through walkways, or the see-through walkways. Pardon my French. Um, my French-Canadian, anyways. So, let's get another take on this, shall we? So, Dave, what are your thoughts and views on this guy? You got to take it out of the box, take a good look at it. What do you think? I took a look. I was impressed by what I saw. Um, knowing me, and you've seen me on Sean's videos, um, again, I'm always worried about breakage because I have uh, clumsy hands and I end up breaking things. A um, little shy about the detail because it's so good. And if that is something I'm going to have to hold against it, wow, what an awful thing to say, right? But the detail is magnificent. I love the ideas of what they put on top for the loading, as far as the automatic loading systems. That That is true um, to what it would look like in the real world. And fellows who are looking for that level of exceptionalism, there it is. You've got it. So, um, as you can see, the cars behind uh, this one here, you can kind of see the kind of things that I'm running and the kind of detail that they have. Um, still a little cautious about the extent of the detail. Love it all to heck. Um, but my trains occasionally, they when I have a T-bone accident going through a um, through uh, intersections uh, that I have, some of them are blind intersections. Um, once in a while, we plow right through a train. That worries me <laughs> how we operate. Sean can tell you about that <laughs> stuff. So maybe that's another video. Um, hopefully we don't run them through each other. But anyways, as far as what he's got here, um, guys, this is fantastic quality. Um, I didn't know about Rapido. I was always, the old school stuff, the Atherin, the Atlas, the Walters, those are the guys I pretty much grew up with. Um, and now there are some new names out there that are pretty, really setting the benchmark high. And I hope everybody else can reach for that same benchmark these guys have achieved. So if you're looking for something that good, by all means, dig down deep in your pocket and dig out some change because you're going to need it for these things. And they're out. They're out. They're awesome. All right. So that's it for the review. Um, we're going to have some fun today. We're going down to Davenport, Iowa. We'll be out there for the Davenport, Iowa. Show. 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 Uh, so special thanks again to Superior Scenics, Dave here. He's going uh, with me too. Yes, I'm yeah. riding with them. We're going down there. I'll actually have my own table if you want to come check it out. Um, and if you want to see this guy, I'll have this yeah. at the oh, show. Yeah. 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 No, I don't. So <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, we'll have this at the show. So if you have questions, you want to take a peek at it, you can actually do that. I've actually got their dome that's going to be there as well. Um, the most recently released dome car that they did. Uh, the Via Rail Dome, not the Denver Rio Grande specialty that Spring Creek Model Trains did. Uh, but I'm really excited to uh, have this at the show. See you guys there if you're going to be there. Um, come check us out uh, at the booth. I'll be again with Superior Cenex, the only sponsor for I, the channel that I have. So, I mean, thank you so much. I appreciate he it. He needs more. So, come on, board. Come on. <laughs> he needs some help. Let's do this. So, show absolutely outstanding show. Be there. It's absolutely a good show. And if you got the way to get down to Iowa to make the visit for it, do it because it is uh, it's a once a year show, and he uh, he he has a very very good show. You'd be amazed. So, hopefully we'll get to see you there. If not, uh, comment, like, subscribe, share, and let us know what your thoughts are on the hopper. If there's anything you guys want to know about the show, let me know. I'm happy to walk around, give you guys a little uh, walkthrough, and take care, everyone.